There we go. Made sure to just give Cole some potions. So now she, he'll be able to take care of himself. So we're going to head over here. Focus on the northern one first because it's closer. And deal with the, uh, the Vargas at the creek. Which are causing our... Uh, causing, giving us some water quality problems apparently. What do we have right here? Oh, it's a quill. Oh, wrong button. Accidentally jumped. Don't mind me. Might be, I might be an idiot. Let's wail on some fucking quillbacks. That's... Why, why, why does saying quillback sound horribly racist? <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that word anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. Keep heading south. Looks like an encamp- is it an encampment over there or just some random rocks? It looks like just some rocks or some bones. So keep heading directly south. There we go. Oh, that's- I, I, I'm guessing the freaky thing with the feather tail is our enemy. It's a Vargast. Is it fighting a dark spawn? Not sure if it's fighting a dark spawn or a, or a member of our troop. Oh, that's yeah, I think that's one of ours. Let's get in there. That is one of ours. Okay, let's definitely get in there. Bury our friend and wail on some fools. Do a nice bit of a uh, can't do the fire. What the fuck happened with Vasty? Did he just turn into like a series of vertical lines? All right, he's on, enemies on fire. That fire damage mixed with my melee attack will definitely maintain my barrier. Oh, I just gained aggro because he decided to attack me instead of Vasty. Lost half my barrier in one attack. Taken care of though. This water takes fun tastes funny. Quest completed. Really? The whole quest is completed? Is that that's, that's it? That's it. Wow. We were just killing the one. We were only killing the one. That was it. Alright, on the Chantry Trail. <laughs> Let's continue to follow the, that Chantry Trail then. Go ahead and clear this waypoint by walking into it. There we go. Inter interesting that that was only one quick kill and the whole quest was over, but who am I to judge? All I know is that it's getting awkward. All right, I'm just gonna have to take the long path. Hey, Elfruit. It's good to have for my re regeneration potions. Especially since I had to stock up for uh, Mr. Cole a moment ago. Just gonna have to awkwardly run around this ravine for a moment. Oh god, how far does this go before it lets me out? Guess I get to fight something. Hello, friends. You're gonna be on fire now. Enjoy. Hope you don't mind burning because you're on fire. Oh, it's a quill bore. Quill bear? Quill bore? I, f I forgot the quill bat. I forgot these things. Uh, quick self barrier. Self barrier. Take care of Vasty too. It's really handy having a barrier focused person in melee range as like a support melee. In some ways, she's a more effective support melee than uh, my two handed warriors ever were, were by which I mean Vasty and uh, Iron Bull. Because both of them, when they went into melee range, it's like, alright, cool, you have a melee guy, but. They're taking damage like crazy, but this car wow, we just shows how much of a circle I just went in that I'm already back here. But they couldn't they wouldn't let me out of the ravine without coming back going around a bit. But it's it's handy having a uh it's quite handy having these characters this character around because she can uh, bar she generates barrier to keep herself alive and then she can barrier herself and Vasty simultaneously on a regular basis. That's just very efficient so far. Hello hyena, you're in trouble now. You're in deep shit. This is the end of your life. There we go. Do you like burning? Burn with me. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. I don't want to go back down there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Careful. Wow, that uh, hyena was actually worth a fair amount of experience. I think it was it was at 31. That's actually comparable to some of the pickups I get that I that I consider being valuable. There's more. Oh, that is an encampment over here. This is the thing I was looking at at first, this thing with the, the, I think it's corpses? Yeah, these are just corpses, but down there there's actually a straight up encampment. Is that full of dark spawn or something? What is that? Nope, that's a... Well, the White Claw Raiders. Huh. Nope, they have loot. I should probably kill some raiders. Let's... Oh, whoa, 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 the physics on my clothes just lost their minds. Let's go after the loot over here. I'll fight them too if they get in the way, but I want this chest. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You don't guard your belongings very well. Oh, it's just an igneous staff. That's not very good. Nope, we've attracted some attention. Oh, that's basically everyone. Okay. Self-barrier? And by self-barrier, I mean barrier everyone, apparently. Awesome. And I'll do create a fiery explosion all over these guys. The one that looks like Solus did the same thing. I think me and Solus, if I remember correctly, have the same fire abilities. Or a handful of them. Just because getting a... Getting clean burn in particular seems super handy for really every spellcaster. Just because it gives it gives you great cooldown reduction and makes your other abilities super usable. 
especially since Solus and Vivian's specialties seem to be that they just cast spells all the time. Oh, we have a note to read. Elegantly written note. Gentlemen, your mistakes are beginning to distress me. I told you to take the equipment and leave the... <clears throat> sorry. And leave the research team alive. Perhaps you don't know the difference between life and death. If you cock this up again, I'll be happy to demonstrate the distinction to, to you for you in detail. Service. Oh, I'll show them the difference between life and death, because I'm going to kill them all. With my swords. Is that... Oops. My mistake. Uh, you, so let's, you should uh, recover a bit, first of all. Go ahead and enjoy that. There we go. And let's take out this uh, ranged character all at once. Won't that be a fun old time? I'll set him on fire. It'll be great. So let's, I'll let you do whatever you want. Alright. You're on fire, bitch! Oops. I, I keep pressing left trigger when I'm trying to barrier myself, which of course means that I'm just going to try to cast a spell that's in triangle, which, which is in the L2 triangle slot, which is not a spell. There's nothing there. <laughs> I want to point out that I casted, uh, I casted, a uh, barrier like one second ago and I already had it back. Although maybe, maybe my immolate critted and g g gave me instant cast for it. Is that, that's an ability I have, right? I do forget these things. There's a lot of skills to keep track. Oh, bag of loot. I do apologize that this seems to be, a. Uh, if we're even still in the same episode, this seems to be a particularly meandering and slow episode, but... I am just sort of navigating the area and trying to do things. It's just everything's surprisingly short and not very meaty, which is a very easy penis joke. I realize, but I'm talking about the uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the content I'm I'm encountering in this particular episode. So here's the next piece of the Chantry Trail. Where, so next spot's way over there now. Where's the new spot? Hey. Next spot is down here, right next to our next uh, camp we were waiting to get to. So. That'll be good to find. Then it's, we're supposed to find Frederick and his, his supplies. Before I go that far, I might do... Oh, that's the next piece of the story. We'll do that when I finish the region a little more. Because when, once I... My, I'd, like, I'd like to save the story bit for last, because once we do that part, I'll be pretty much ready to just leave the whole zone semi-permanently until we encounter something else. It's good to be thorough, because then it, it's easier to... It'll be hard to keep track of which zones still have stuff left to do in them if I start doing the quick story mission and, and then leaving. Although, of course, I know deep down that Hinterlands always has more to do. From the old blight, the blight scar all they touch. To see wildlife thriving here, it is deeply unexpected. The tr the li life finds a way. Is that a? What was, it? what was that quote from? Is life finds I think life finds a way is a quote from a uh, Jurassic Park. Checking out this this uh, banner here. Does it do anything? Doesn't it's it's like a a griffin. It's two griffins and a shield with wings. But I guess I, we don't really interact with it. I thought it might be quest related or something. Might just be a little bit of color, kind of like how the uh, Storm Coast is covered in uh in dwarven ruins every four seconds. I was trying to circumnavigate you, but if you're gonna fight, yep, he's gonna fight me. This what? This may have been a mistake, buddy. You may have made a horrible mistake. Yep, there's myself bu bubbling. Every now everyone's completely not going to get hurt by you. Just go ahead and just take it. Just take it. There. You go. Whoa! Someone did like 3,000 damage to him just now. <laughs> that is overkill. Oh, hyena teeth. Upgrade. One of the reasons I'm not in a hurry to get the upgrade that uh, gives you experience for your previous upgrades is that I can always get it later and get the exact bonus from it still. Because it is cumulative. It does make the point to say including previous uh, previous experience. And that's good to know. That means I can save it for as late as I want and then get an experience bo post boost, all, boost all at once if I want. That That's a floating corpse, by the way. Right up there. Hope you don't mind. Now you're on fire, and everyone's bubbled, so I don't know what you're trying to accomplish, but you've largely failed, I suppose. Sorry. Holy shit, he's back. Oh, oh, it's a it's a footpad. That means he's a rogue, so he, he was invisible and ambushed us during the fight. Whoa. That was a cool animation. He, like, w he like went wrapping around the fight and did crazy... Some, some really cool moves. Uh, there's just a floating body up there, though. That's unfortunate. A little, a little too Lords of the fallen -y. Barely readable. Unsent letter. Service. You can bring the Grey Warrens back? My men are seeing... Oh, can you bring the Grey Warrens back? My men are seeing Darkspawn at night. Darkspawn? It's not a blight starting, is it? You'll protect us, right? Druvond. 
So service is service a uh, is he another Grey Warden? Is he the is he who we're we're here to are we here to try to deal with him with the uh, the Hawk storyline and uh, whoever the guy is from the Hawk storyline I might have forgotten his name. Whoops. Let's claim this landmark. Lamar Tower. Senior Warden Lamar, hero of the Second Battle of Ford Pass, held back three charges of Darkspawn during the critical long night of the Second Blight and lost her life in the service of Thetis. From the Grey Warden Archives at Weishaupt. Alright, let's go find us some shards. Around here. Some oh there's one. Let's find let's find us up oh, two. That's good. That's a good sign to find two of them so quickly. I've taken so long to find them sometimes. Did you keep an eye out for the first sign of your first <laughs> that floating body is still right there. There we go, all three. That was quick. First piece. Oh, oh yeah, those are all the shards. I won't bore you guys by tr by hunting those down right now. That's some shards are mostly an off-camera thing, I think, for me at this point, unless I happen to encounter them while I'm on my way to actual quests. But they're not particularly interesting. I will follow up question marks though, because some of those could be quests. Not this one, but some of them. It's just a thing to claim. The salt flats. The surveyor. This mining equipment has been abandoned for a very long time. Not even the scavengers have disturbed it. Oops, wrong thing. I was trying to go back to the map again. Alright, next question mark. This is what, Hopefully some of these will be mission oriented, but even claiming landmarks is fine. Because at least, I think you get experience from it. Or at the very least, there's like a cumulative quest to do. What is that over there? Oh, that's my, uh, that's the next story mission. Is that crazy ruin over there. Enjoy that little teaser. Ooh, this question mark is a seems to be a, a uh, yeah. Okay, it's another fade rift. What level are you? Level eleven. So one, two, three, four, four lesser shades, or I mean wraiths. Sorry, just then just wraiths, and then one shade. That's entirely doable. Let's have a uh, Cole do his uh long eh, a little closer maybe. Cole can do a long draw on the first shade, or full draw, sorry, and everyone else can everyone can focus fire on this asshole. There we go. We'll try to take down, down that guy as fast as possible. I can largely trust people to do what I want them to do. It looks like Vivian, the moment I went, looked away from her, went ahead and cast a uh, barrier on herself. Way to go. I'll start off with this guy with a fire spell, and then just run in to do some serious damage up close. Looks like, uh, wow, Cole did a lot of damage. Okay. Yep, first rate's down. Now let's just keep focus focus on doing more damage to this group. Self bubble to keep myself up. Largely the group's trust. Oh, silly Solus. Solus just bubbled himself instead of the uh, actual danger. Oh shit, Solus is under attack. Never mind. You were oh you were entirely justified in doing that, Solus, because you just, you're actually legitimately being attacked right now. Fire attack. Finish him off. There we go. This I forgot. Does Solus have dispel right now? No, Dispel- Solus does not have Dispel, Vivian does not have Dispel, right. In my current build, I'm very I'm I have great survivability, but I do have to fight these rifts for real now. No more, uh, dispelling waves of, during, of the fight. I'll probably get the spell again later, when it becomes harder. Rage Demon, okay. One, two, three, four, at least five wraiths. We'll go ahead and focus fire on this asshole over here. Uh... Mr. Cole can do a long draw on one of the distant ones. Oh shit, Cole's right here. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's why he probably couldn't do anything at that moment, was because he was in the middle of an animation. Do a long draw on this, a full draw on this guy, just to make sure that we do a good amount of damage off the bat. Hit him. Did you cast it? Did you cast your full draw? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh well. We'll go ahead and, uh, oh, yeah, this Rage Demon's gonna be a problem, so let's just have everyone focus fire on this asshole as fast as possible. Solus, you can take care of yourself. Vasti, you're gonna have to self-heal, I think. There we go. At this point, since it's a tough enemy, we might as well use your your Rift ability. Oh, that was a bad, that was a, a bad aim. Let's try that again. Right in the middle of him so he doesn't get away. And then, oh, and then Vivian can bubble the group. Quickly, please, please barrier. Okay, she, he's successfully barriered. So now we can just fight the Rage Demon one on one. I'll do a quick immolate to do AoE. Ooh. The, oh, the Wraith's dead. Okay. Is there another Wraith around here? Not not, not directly in the fight. Okay. So I'll, I'll do the uh, 
Yeah, I'll do the immolate for bonus damage to keep my shield up. And then just start wailing on this fucker. Come here. Come here, you asshole. Yeah, try to defend yourself. I have this attack. Wait, wait. Am I moving slower than normal? I'm moving really slow. What's up with that? Oh, he's down, so it worked. Whatever I was doing worked out. Okay, self-bubble. Keep our party going. There we go. Oh, hey, you can actually see Vasti slowly healing underneath this barrier. So that, uh, that damage taken turning into healing is actually working out right now. Good to know. That'll, that'll help to keep his health bar more full over time. And this, this poor guy <laughs> thinks he can get away with having a barrier right uh, in front of me, but, uh... Oh, that was a mistake. Let him get away. Okay, Vasti's taking a lot of damage. Is it because he's standing directly in the damage right there? Jesus, I guess the AI wasn't smart enough to just take part in the fight. Let's go ahead and disrupt this rift. Really, no one's going to defend themselves against the guy that's blatantly attacking them. What is Vasti's AI set to do? Defend Vivian. Wasn't Vivian fighting? Maybe I just say, I should say, maybe I'll just, yeah, I'll just say follow Vivian. Since if, uh, if I'm going to control Vivian so much, I'll just set it to follow. Since apparently defend did, made, him, made his uh, AI do absolutely nothing. Generate some, I'm just going to generate as much guard as I can while this guy isn't dead yet. It's really the primary focus for me right now. Alright. And then start wailing on the fucker. Finish him off. Alright, and then we'll close the rift. Nailed it! Sure, you sure you want to stand that close to the explosion, Solus? Alright, be my guest. Is Vasti still recovering hit points? Nope. He probably didn't take much damage near the end of that fight, so... There's probably not much to recover, I guess. Enhanced Twin Fangs Ring and Lightning Essence. Good to keep getting more essences that I can use to eventually get my, uh... Yep, looks like we're gonna make our way down to that, uh... That next camp. Which I don't think I've claimed yet, right? I don't think I have, right? It's, uh, two out of four? Yeah, I don't have that one yet. Where's the last one? Last one up north? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're gonna head towards that camp, replenish our supplies, grab a few things along the way. There's so much mushroom, holy shit. We just never stop finding mushroom, it's impossible. It's an infinite supply of deep mushrooms. This is my deep voice, apparently. I don't know what the fuck. Hyena, why? Hyena, why? You could have had a long and fruitful life, but you were stoop- Ow, dick. You could have done anything else with your life, but instead you decided to attack us. That was a dum dum. Why do you make why do you make the dum dums? You should, be, you should do smarter things than that. Oh well. Goodbye. Forever. I'm not even trying to hunt wildlife, it's just charging me all the time. Dumb wildlife. Making dumb decisions. Ooh, loot. Just hanging out. Cotton and viridium. We're on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> Is that from the show? I can't remember if that song's from the show itself or if it's like a dumb fan song because I've encountered so many... The, because of YouTube and the internet, I've heard so many fan versions of video game songs that I don't even know which ones are real anymore. So here's our camp. camp. Can I go ahead and establish this to make progress on that quest and to have another uh, quick travel location? Then we're gonna start claiming every waypoint and quest in this little region until the point where very soon here we're basically gonna have the map cleared out. And that'll be good. That means it'll be another zone more or less done in the case of the western uh the western approach. Griffin Wing Monument. In honor of the wings of Adamant, the brave Griffins who gave their lives in service to keep the blight at bay. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice. Ver definitely I think that's the Grey Warden. The Great Warden mantra, right? Pretty sure. Is this an, the next Chantry thing? Maybe. Maybe not. And we have a shard like right here in the middle of our town. Oh, no, just the researcher. Visitors. Thank the Maker. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone. Have you come to observe the wildlife too? Who are you? What are you doing out here? I am Frederic of Serou, foremost researcher of draconology in Orlais. I came here with an expedition from the university. But the others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw Raiders have made off with much of our supplies. You will help me reclaim the equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. You're a scholar? What can you tell me about this region? <laughs> 
The Western Approach is a remarkable place, as you are no doubt aware. Many magnificent creatures make their home here. Vargas, dragons, phoenixes. They thrive where few others can. The land was poisoned by the Second Blight. The Warden Fortress has stood since that time. Before the Blight, the ancient Imperium ruled here. Actually, I saw some Tevinters recently. Studying the runes, perhaps. The rest of your team went missing, and there are raiders all over the area. Should you be here alone? I don't know what happened to the rest of the expedition, but the raiders have left me completely undisturbed. I have also seen Grey Wardens and strangers in odd black clothing, but they all ignore my presence completely. Tell me about yourself. I am a professor at the University of Orlais. I have made it my life's work to write the definitive monograph on the hunting habits of dragons and their closest kin. On this trip alone, I have produced 20 scrolls of notes, more scholarship than has ever been done on the Southern Vargast. But my hope, my great ambition, is to observe the abyssal high dragon taking her prey, a sight no scholar has ever recorded. I have the supplies you were waiting for right here. Surely the Maker himself sent you. You haven't encountered the other researchers, have you? Jeannette, Marcus, Etienne? I'm afraid they're probably all dead. Then it is doubly important that I finish our work, that their sacrifice not be in vain. Now that I have my recipes back, I'll be able to concoct a bait the High Dragon cannot resist. I have most of what I need, but I still need to gather quillback intestines and a phoenix's tail feather. You study dragons. I'd be interested in hearing more about that. Oh, they are fascinating and little understood creatures, thought extinct for centuries. Now they seem to be making a comeback. The Nevarans wrote extensively on breeding and nesting behavior, but high dragon hunting patterns have never been studied. I would be most interested if you come across any Gurn corpses that might be victims of dragon attacks. One tail feather and one batch of intestines, as requested. My friend, you are invaluable. I will certainly note your assistance in my monograph on the high dragon. I will attempt to lure her out as soon as my background research is complete. <laughs> Mistakes could be deadly. The ancient Tevinters wrote volumes on the study of dragons. I believe they had a laboratory in this desert. Oh, if only their work had not been lost. Truly, the Blights set the field of draconology back centuries. Deplorable. I found this manuscript on dragons in an ancient Tevinter laboratory. Will it help you? What remarkable diagrams! Are these chambers of the draconic heart? Oh, if only I could read the script! Do you perhaps know a linguist? Or a Tevinter historian? I don't, but the Inquisition might. I'll speak to our specialists. We'll have to speak some other time. Wow. So, strange that a lone scholar should be completely ignored by the bandits in the Venatori. That's crazy that I went... <laughs> but just because I've been so thorough about this entire region, I, yep, had a Lure Dragon quest completed. The moment I ever, I, I, I completed it before I ever found it. Frederick's Livelihood quest, we just completed so many quests on accident, basically. Like, just because I've been going through this region, I've been really thorough along the way. How are we doing on experience? I'm about to hit level 13. Yep, everyone is. And how close is Vasti to 14? He's getting there. Yeah, just because I was really thorough in this region, I've already unlocked everything. That's crazy. Oops, did not mean to do that. Quest menu. Next thing on the map. More Chantry Trail. Chant- did I say Chantry Trail? Chantry Trail. These are the, are these the other- oh, hunting, hunting patterns. We need to find dragon signs. Dragon signs. So there's four- there's four dragon signs out here to find. I'll probably collect the do the dragon signs and the uh, shards off camera unless dragon signs turned out to actually be something you actually do and not just like oh I clicked on the thing I don't know we'll figure it maybe I will do that on screen that's at least at least a different quest 
and not just another uh go get those shards you've seen everywhere else but now there's more more shards yay <laughs> But yeah, just because I've been going through this whole region and I've been really thorough along the way, by the time I found that guy and actually talked to him directly, he already, uh, I already had everything I needed for every stage of the quest, all the way up to the part where you do a operation at the war table. And that's not even some. that's obviously something I couldn't have done in advance. Alright, death root. We're just gonna continue towards this chantry symbol. A little bit of deep mushroom to sprinkle in. Alrighty then. Gotta adventure towards that eyeball on the map. Another region discovered. Wow, 18 out of 25. There are quite a few regions in this area. That pillar over there looks like a landmark. Even if it's not a landmark, there's probably... Yeah, there's probably loot around here. Let's go make a mess. I'm gonna cast fire all over you, bitches. Yep, you guys feel good about that? <laughs> you, like being, you like how much fucking fire's all over you right now? It's exciting, right? Oh, he's trying to run away. He's trying to run away. Adorable, not gonna work. Let's bubble myself in Vasky real quick. Oh. I must have bubbled someone else. I don't know, I'm not even sure where I just targeted. Oh, it's a Vargast. Another one of those guys. I can I can light him on fire. That's fun. Yay, Vargast is on fire. Goodbye, Vargast. Oh my god, who did that? Who destroyed those ruins? That was crazy. The fucking ruins just exploded around me. <laughs> I forget that there's like semi-destructible things in the environment. One of the first things that made me th that clear to me was that we saw that first high dragon at the... Uh, we saw that first high dragon in the hinterlands, and the hinter and he like exploded the columnar jointing that he was standing on when he just took off. I think he crashed into it in midair, and it just w exploded in every direction. I saw the reading thing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up any loot that's here first. Did I level up? I don't think I leveled up yet. I gotta be close though, right? That's I've gotta be really close after that kind of fight. I've got maybe 400, ex maybe 300 experience to go. Looks like. Still a bit bit more, apparently. Elegantly penned note. Gentlemen, I will make your stay here in the western approach quite profitable so long as you can follow my instructions. First and foremost, you will obtain the research materials from the team sent here by the University of Orlais for a project of great importance. Second, you are to assist the Templars in their resource gathering mission in whatever capacity they require. You will not interfere in any of the excavations the Venatori are conducting, nor will you announce your presence to the Grey Wardens. You will find that my gratitude for a job well done is remarkably lucrative. Service. So these bandits I'm fighting are being... They're assisting the Templars and the Venatori and and the Orle scholars, which we just encountered the, one of the members of, where everyone else seems to be missing or dead because of some other event, apparently. There's an item around here. Oh, it's loot. Okay. Superior hunter mail. That might be good for, uh, for coal, but I generally avoid checking during combat. Let's try something. I wonder, can you just destroy these ruins just by like smashing them or something? I'll try doing a smash attack with my- because that's what my shield is. Oh my god. The ruins just fucking explode. I am a god. I am a sparkling golden god. And I am undefeatable. I can just do this. <laughs> I feel like a terrible person. It's like, hey ruins, bye ruins. Hey, ruins. Bye, ruins. Can I break this? Nope. Can't go in there? The, it looks like there's something in there, too. Oh, I see. Is that deep mushroom? I see some deep mushroom in there. But I can't be beat it open. Let's see if I... Maybe I can do it with a, a soulless attack. Nope. Not quite. We'll, we'll keep an eye out. We'll also want to keep heading the, in the right direction. I kind of went the wrong way, didn't I, for the chantry thing. I'm just a little distracted. I, I might investigate these ruins for a second first, just to see if there's anything cool around here. Maybe even an underground passage? Because we... That uh, deep mushroom indicates that there must be a way down there, otherwise why would they place an item? Oh, here come the Dargans. Yeah, we got some inc incoming Dargans. Sorry, that's a dumb way that I mispronounced. Oh, he's immune to fire. I guess I should have seen that coming, because he spits fire. <laughs> There we go. The ruins are still exploding around us, which is all continues to be fucking awesome looking. Although a little silly. In a dynasty warrior sort of way where it's like wildly unrealistic. Uh where there's gotta be a cave going under here, right? Like right over here? No cave symbols yet. More mercenaries. Oh, more mercenaries down there and a whole camp. But I'm gonna go check out Eh, fuck it. Let's kill some merc kill some mercenaries. Yeah, that's the end of the level. I can't get any more sidetracked in a, in a moment anyway, because I'm going to run out of level. So let's kill some mercenaries just because they're here. Their camp probably has something cool in it. 
Uh, go ahead and heal up, Cole, because you're- no one else seems to need health potions right now, and we have 12, so... Have at it. Ooh! Magical barrier, those are always encouraging. And we have a chest over here, and another note. Rebel Mage's notes. It just keeps staring at me. I had to go. I bet it's something in that cave. I bet there's something cool in that cave that's gonna reward me. Amulet of Magic. That's- that's vendor trash at this point, because I've found so many of them. Uh, and more Lazurite. Six of it, to be precise. Alright, let's go make a mess. First of all, Cole, can you target the one up top? What's that? Oh, I'm, are you targeting that? Okay. It's fine. Ah. Uh, okay, first of all, let's say fire attack. And you can do a fire attack. There we go. We'll get Cole ready to do a long shot on the other asshole. Hello, friend. Bonus damage. Wow, that was not actually as much damage as I was expecting it to do. It's still a good start, though. We'll go ahead and focus on fu on finishing this guy off with the whole party. Fasty. We're definitely hitting a point where a lot of my characters can be trusted to take care of themselves a lot of the time. And we have such great party synergy, I gen generally don't need to strategize too much. I'm actually kind of anticipating that the next time we do a major story mission, because I those tend to be harder. Especially the boss fights, and that'll be another good moment to strategize. Uh, someone, some people may or may not have found it tedious to watch. Ooh, I just leveled up. Someone may have found it tedious to watch, but when I when I was fighting that envy demon, for, and I, I was sitting there doing in tactical mode for like a solid 20 to 30 minutes to do it, I actually I was really enjoying the experience. It had a very XCOM feel, where I had to very carefully decide exactly what I was doing the entire fight, and I nailed it because I did it on my first try, and that made it really satisfying. Get a little azurite. Let's see, who leveled up? Is it just me? Yeah, it's just Vivian. I'll worry about leveling up when Solus and Cole level up too, which will be- should be soon. Vivian has a slight boost from that one time that I did a little bit of, uh... I did a little bit of solo, uh... What element is this? Is it hurt by fire? It's kind of hurt by fire. What can you do, Solus? You can probably do something cool, right? Let's make an explodey. So much explodey. Like, for reals? We win! Am I in- oh, I'm in tactical mode. I thought I was out of tactical mode, so I'm like, what's the camera doing right now? Did he lose his mind? 80 more experience for our, our Inquisition. We're already halfway to level 8. We got there pretty quickly, actually. Considering I just spent a, a skill point at the, at the war table when I came in here at the beginning of this session. So we have another tunnel full of, uh... We have a mosaic piece and another piece of lore. Which is fine rewards. I'd also like to find a chest, though. Four out of twelve Archdemon pieces. I assume each mosaic is exclusive to a zone, so that must mean there's twelve mosaic pieces in this zone, I think, is what that means? Maybe? I don't know for sure. But I know that, that we have we have like three different mosaics going on now. Templar Commander Armor. And... Oblique Cutter. What do we have here? It's closed and I can't access it. It's kind of like a- it looks like a wardrobe. Yeah, it's like a locked- it's like a locked wardrobe. What, what else do we have around here besides the note, of course? Nope, down to the note, and- oh, two notes, okay. We'll read this. The creation of a phylactery. They, that leveled everyone up, didn't it? Nope, not quite. Never mind. Uh, we let the boy rest. The first night, they brought him into the White Spire. I convinced Knight Commander Belros to delay the ritual till the morning. The journey was long, and the lad could barely keep his eyes open, poor thing. I was certain I was certain escape was the furthest thing from his mind. Medine found him a clean cot with the older with the other young apprentices, and when I came in for supper he was already fast asleep. In the morning I showed Medine how the file was to be prepared. First a simple charm to preserve and protect the glass, then a spell to keep the bloom the blood from uh, forming dark clots. The last step could only be completed with the apprentice present. I sent a young Templar recruit off with the message that we were ready. The boy was escorted to the chamber by Belrose himself. I could tell he had just been awakened. There was a smear of dirt from his face, perhaps from the road. I called the boy to me and, and cleaned his cheek with my sleeve and explained the ritual. We have to take your blood, I said, because you're special and we don't want you to be lost. If it happens, the blood will allow us to find you and bring you home again. I let Medine take the, the lancet this time. The tremor in his hands was worse that day. 
and I didn't want to make too deep a cut. Oh, in my hands was worse that day, and I didn't want to make too deep a cut. I held the boy close, and Medine made a small, neat incision in his palm, exactly as instructed. I felt the boy struggle and, tr and start to cry. He, pull he tried to pull away, but the Medine gripped his hand firmly, letting the blood run into the, s into the file. Then Medine cast a spell. Like we practiced, within the file, the blood churned the gr and grew bright in the presence of the mage to whom it was bound. It was done. Another phylactery, another link forged. He was leashed to the white spire. The boy could not look away from the glow. He was enthralled, and the pain and the tears were forgotten. See? This is magic, I said to him. When you are older, I will teach you. Beros let the bo boy hold his phylactery for several minutes before he locked it away in the chamber. From the memoirs of Enchanter Reva, Clay, 872, blessed. So that's the creation of a phylactery, which for those of you that don't remember, which you, probably none of you, but whatever, just in case you don't remember, uh, phylacteries are created because this, obviously the Circle of Magi is kind of like a prison slash school for all mages when they're growing up, or really all mages in general to some extent. And uh, the phylactery is a blood sample that's magically enchanted so that they can track the mage if they go missing, so, they can, so that any apostates can be hunted down. It's a little more severe and dangerous than they imply to the boy, but, you know, don't, let's not scare the lad. Chantry Logbook. S we so far cannot confirm that Faramond has had any luck attracting spirits at all. It may not be possible for spirits in the Fade to even see someone who has so long been tranquil. He wishes to continue the experiments. We will stay and observe until he's ready to leave. So they had a tran- they had a uh, tranquil person here conducting absur- uh, experiments with servants, and he was finding that they wouldn't even f uh, notice him, apparently. Which is quite interesting. Okay, so we got a mosaic piece. Got two new pieces of lore. Our next goal is to probably to go back up here. Looks like memories of the gray and rifts of the pass. I'm gonna go- t I'm gonna take care of the rift, but I think I'm gonna ignore the gray thing for now, until I have an opportunity to grab... I'm gonna try to come back later with, uh, Cassandra and with, uh... With Cassandra and Blackwall to complete our two objectives related to those characters. Since they do seem to appreciate being brought along for those quests, and I might as well entertain that. So go ahead and continue north. Looks like Solus has also, also leveled up, so... I'm still waiting for Cole. I guess Cole is the one with the least experience in our group, which makes sense. Because Cole is the character that was never, until this session, in my party. So even if he was... Uh, standardized with the other characters to some extent for the leveling process when he when he first joined he would have fallen behind again when I let him idle for a while so how close are we to our objective there's definitely some flags up there now I'd like to complete a, the uh we're still on our, on our way up there which one did I pick now remembers the gray rifts the, yeah rifts off the past okay where's the uh oh yeah the story missions way up here okay there's it still is that question mark to investigate. We'll check that out after the rift, I think. Always good to get rifts closed for a nice little boost of experience. Anyone who wasn't leveled up at that point will be for sure, because they give you like 500 to 1,000. Although 1,000 experiences does not go as far as it used to. It used to be that was like a fifth of your experience bar. Instead of being a fifth of your experience bar, it's now like a thirteenth of your experience bar? Level 13 rift. That's more dangerous. Wraith, Wraith. So right off the bat, it's five wraiths again. It's like they know that I don't have dispel, so they're throwing characters at me that would be really easy to kill with a dispel group, with a dispel person in your group, which I do not have right now. So, just do long draw on that, a full draw on that guy to do damage. I always target someone who I'm not currently targeting with everyone else with full draw because it does less damage against someone who is currently in the process of dying. You know what, Solus? I'll let you do what you want, actually. You go ahead. I believe that Solus is good enough at, at uh, coming up with his own ideas. So Vivian does not need to cast Bubble right now because it's already cast. So let's just start with a bit of uh, explosive, explosive fire and charge in to cause some bonus damage of her own. Hello, friend. Oh, you come back here. Where do you, where you think you're going? That's right. Now Vivian, and I may not have to spell. Oh, wow. He, he, took, he took a lot of damage from that. Uh, is he invisible or dead? Oh, he's dead. He died under his barrier. He just had a barrier over his dead body. Awkward. Uh, we may not have the spell, but Vivian gets a significant damage boost against uh, barrier and armor. So these guys that try to bubble, I can uh, I can get their barrier down pretty quickly. All right, let's be careful here. Uh, 
All right, here we go. So what do we have? We have Wraith, 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 Despair Demon. There's always one, it's, it is very frequently a bunch of Wraiths and then one tough dude. Okay. Let's just focus on, on DPSing down this guy since he's like right in the middle of our group. And I'll tell you to long draw if you can. This guy over here. There we go. Full draw is happening over here, so this guy should take a bunch of damage. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll take over Vivian to continue to DPS the group. This Wraith could take some damage. There we go. Oh, wow. He went down fast. Okay. Let's make sure we wail on them. Get their, take, get that barrier right off. Yeah, you'd like to have a gone going barrier, wouldn't you? Okay, so as soon as we get enough experience, I mean enough mana, I'm going to want to... There we go. Where's our downed party member? Over there? Now he's up. There you go. Did we run out of potions, or did he just die so abruptly that he didn't get a chance to cast it? I don't know. Come here, buddy. Oh, there's still other wraiths in the area. Let's focus on them, then. Because the wraiths are lar dangerous in large groups, so it's good to get them down. Uh, we'll just melee this guy. Get his barrier down. Focus deep of DPS. He's pretty much down. Let's get, yeah, Vasty bubbled properly. Is he, oh, oh. Main target's down. Okay. Let's close that rift. Close that rift and roll done. These are going just dandy up in here. Oh, a thousand experience. Not bad. Although, I do need 17,000 to level up, so it's not... Not as exciting as it used to be to get a thousand experience like that, is it? Man. I think I've heard of people capping out at, like, level 23 to 25-ish when they beat this game. So at some point, you just, at some point, it's just not reasonable to expect to get more experience. Oh, is this the Memories of the Grey? It is a Grey Warden Sword. I'll leave that here. Does it still show up on the map? Yep, Memories of the Grey is still on the map. Okay. I'll leave that there for now, because I want, uh... I definitely would like to be back to get that with, uh... Careful. Is there another item over here? That's probably just the Grey Warden item. There should be loot over in this direction. There we go. I'm gonna avoid grabbing that for now, though, just because of, uh, you know, wanna keep, uh, wanna keep our companions happy. Passageway to nowhere, because these walls are kind of pointless at this point. I'm gonna climb up here, since this one, there's a good chance that this one will similarly have a useful item on top, or, or a pile of bodies. Okay. No, that's cool, too. Hey, Grey Whiskey, Right Wine, Conscription Ale, a body marked Vintage Warden Jaren. Smash one dead. Well, that wasn't successful. Oh, Vivian's already climbing. Can't change your mind. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some skill points. I'll, th I'll think about it a bit and then tell you what I'd make, I, what choose I choose to do, I guess.